and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my thoughts keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis and today we are reviewing Jay Rodriguez of Southampton who unfortunately will miss the World Cup after getting injured. If you want coins, HDFUT coins is your place, M89 is your code for 5% off. Now in terms of price, with Jay Rodriguez and his only Inform which will be on FIFA 14, he's going for 400k on the Xbox One, 250k on the PlayStation 4, that's rose since he has been injured because people have realised this will be his only Inform card throughout the whole of this FIFA. He's got a two-star skill move set which I personally think that is ridiculous. A four-star weak foot and some great stats like you're looking at in the background. Ball control, finishing, dribbling all in the greens as well as long shots, penalties and shot power. He's got high to medium work rate which I do love for attackers and wingers and great physical attributes. Look at the acceleration, agility, jumping, reactions and sprint speed. In the yellow is balance and strength. Not the best in the world but not the worst either so I had a massively high hopes going into these games with Jay Rodriguez and the goals you're going to see are well um, shit, I scored shit goals with this guy, now normally on all my reviews I score at least one good goal with a player, in terms of Jay Rodriguez who I thought would do wonders on the pitch, he did nothing and I scored shite goals like this simple tap ins, yes he's good when you're 6 yards out in front of goal and he scores these kind of easy goals Shane Long here getting very lucky there in the lag chipping it to the back post and he scores his third and last goal for the club with an easy header from six yards out with zero, zero? With no keepers in goals, why did I say zero there? But anyways lads, Jay Rodriguez, he let me down majorly as you see me hit the crossbar there and that was the only time I hit the woodwork with this card. Normally I hit the woodwork at least eight or nine times with my informed reviews. With Jay Rodriguez, his finishing just seemed so damn bad and I didn't understand it because I looked at his attributes and I thought, he looks immense. Why am I not scoring? Why am I hitting the post? Why am I missing this? Why am I missing that? So I think I played roughly 11 games with this card, more than any other review, just to see if I was having a bad night, if I was having a bad day, if I was playing shite on FIFA, but unfortunately it was the card and I would not recommend you go out and buy this card for the price he's at because it's simply not worth it. So lads, he's going to get a 2 out of 5 star, maybe you think that's a little bit harsh, but stick with his upgrade, don't go out and spend all your cash, all your coins on this card because it is simply not worth it. Cons, finishing skill moves and like I said the value, I could go on, I really could go on but that will be it for this review lads, drop a like if you have enjoyed and I will catch you all next time.